you know, when I was just a little boy, it was commonplace to go into my backyard. You could see your horses, your cows, your goats, your chickens, and whatnot. We didn't have no pigs. Mama and Daddy didn't do no pigs. But I got to tell you one thing that we always found fun was chicken football. What you do is you take a piece of gum, such as this right here, and throw it in the chicken coop and just watch them go after it. They can't eat it, but they still fight, because each one thinks that the other one's got something they don't. Kind of like American politics. <laughs> anyway, if I can get away with it, my neighbor is over here in Southern California right now. I've got a couple of chickens in their backyard. I'm going to toss my gum over the side of that chain link, see if we can't get us some ball. Come on now. Okay, the one chicken's got it. What? He... I don't understand. He ate the gum. Chickens ain't supposed to eat the gum. They're supposed to fight over it. Ooh, what a crazy looking chicken with his beak out twisted and manipulated. What the... Where'd the gum go? Why, shoot. That just messes up everything. Well, off for some more bubble gum. <laughs> We're going to have to try this another way. Seems I got to soften up another piece of bubble gum as uh, these folks seem to do things a little bit differently as they did once when I was a kid. Where I seems their beaks on the top of. We've shaved them down, evidently, to keep them from pecking on each other and pecking on things. I must tell you, I wasn't expecting that. Well, I can't say that I really know why. But all I know is that this piece of bubble gum sure is good enough. We're going to give it another little dandy. Come on. Okay. He seems he's pecking at the gum. He's got the gum. Can't pick it up because they got their beaks all twisted. That is just not fun. I got to tell you, a suburban chicken ball ain't no good. Oh, there's another unexpected variable the big dogs. Well, so much for the chicken ball. And I'm going to get that dog. <laughs> Got Matt, Matt got us a late rally on the Hi, chicken ball. I'd have to say that was a little bit disappointing. Definitely not the chicken ball that I used to watch when I was a child, but you know. Several things have changed. First of all, when I was a child, we had plenty of room, and there just wasn't really a day where a dog and a chicken occupied the same space. At least not intentionally. But if I get another chance at chicken ball, you bet your last dollar, I'll let you know. This is Riley O'Reilly, and I'll get back to you later.